know, back 20 years ago, we started doing work with United Airlines. And we did some work on their pricing algorithm. But they were one of the very few firms that would engage academics. Now, since then, I've worked probably with 50 to 100 firms. Now I work primarily with Lyft as their chief economist. But I really see two big benefits for firms. Um, one, academics provide pretty cheap labor. The, the typical trade-off is I will come in and give you my time and my thoughts and my ideas. And in return, I want your data so I can write scientific papers. For most issues, that's a pretty good trade-off. Now, secondly, when you look at the historical growth and demise of firms. Now, what I'm talking about here are attrition rates. If you look in the United States and you go back to 1955 and you look at the Fortune 500 companies in 1955 and you look at where those companies are today, fewer than 70 of them are still in the Fortune 500 company list. If you look at things like two-year survival rates for new businesses in the U.S., it's about 64%. So roughly three out of five new firms are still around within two years. Now you can ask yourself, why does this happen? It's because firms have not adapted or they have not changed with the times. We are right now in a fundamental revolution and it's with generating data, and it's with analyzing data, using machine learning and big data AI techniques. And any firm that does not take part in this fundamental transformation or this landscape change, I'm going to predict will be extinct very soon. Now you have two things going on. You have relatively free labor, and you have this fundamental change about how we can use data the best companies in the United States, Google, Facebook, Amazon, Uber, Lyft, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, data is in their DNA. And it, it is true that data is now the most valuable resource in the world. It's no longer oil. But much like oil needs a refinery, data also needs a refiner, and that's where academics come in. They lend expertise, they understand how to think about causality, they understand how to generate new data to make causal claims and to figure out underlying mechanisms. It's really a win-win in a market that I think is going to explode in the near future and in the very long run, scientifically, that's really going to help how we understand the world because firms are now starting to open and that they're not only making themselves better by opening up, but they're making the world better because we're learning fundamental things that only firms and academic partnerships can actually allow us to learn.